Tweetbot goes iPad? Can't get that Android app in your country? Not a problem. And one weather for Android today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I'm Jackie Talbot. And I'm Chris Jennings. Hey, Chris. How's it going, Jackie? It's good. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of similar Kind of matchy today. It's yellow day. It's yellow day, and we were like, you know what? This is kind of weird, but it's not, obviously, because totally different colors. Slightly different. We yeah. both look great. Yeah, I think we can awesome. continue. Nice Thank you. Yeah. And also, guess what? You hear that? Snaps? Snaps are back. Are they back? <laughs> yeah, All right. snaps are back, as you might have seen yesterday. Anthony and Mal brought them back. Yes. Super excited about Tweetland it. Tweetland they were talking about yeah, yesterday. Yeah, so Tweetland's weird. <laughs> it's, this, is a, this is an interesting concept yeah, for a game. It's cool. It's, it's really cool. It's taking sort of a retro looking 8 bit driving game, right. but then injecting it with some Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> injecting it with some Twitter is exactly it. So, what it is is you get different, you know, like little obstacles and power ups in the game, but they're activated by people's tweets. Yeah, they're based on tweets that people yeah. are actually doing on Twitter. Yeah, so, so, what so they say can happen to you in the game. Yeah, someone might be talking about a meteor. Meteor goes in your game and you might die from it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty interesting. Doesn't get any you more guys, real than that. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys should check it out. It was on Snap yesterday, Anthony and Mao, as we said. So yeah, very cool. Check it out. And Tweetbot is now available for the iPad, which is very exciting. This yeah. is an app we love, and now you can get it on your Tweetbot iPad. has been a huge hit on the iPhone, yeah. and now it's going to be on the iPad, which is great. And it has all those features that people love. It's right. got all the gestures. It has the multiple timelines. It has mm -hmm. the conversation, so you can keep track of what's That's going on. That's my yeah. favorite part, is the fact that you can actually figure out what the hell people are responding yeah. to. Yeah, you never know what people are talking yeah, exactly. about. You need to know the whole story, yeah. and this will let you do it. Yeah, and it's a great app, so you should go check, check it, out. it out. Also, Market Unlocker is available now for Android. Yeah, so international Android users, yeah. this is pretty exciting for you. Yeah, and I know that sometimes if you're outside the US, or even sometimes in the US, you have these weird issues where apps are not compatible with your phone. Yeah. And it may say available for US customers only. What this app allows you to do is to sort of trick the market to make you think that you're in the US so you can download that app. Right. Sounds tricky, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you do uh, have to root your phone. Though, yes, as it's for rooted users only, yeah. which is a little bit of a drawback, but I'm all for rooting your phone. Yeah, and I probably I should anyway. You probably should. <laughs> and a lot of major apps aren't allowed outside the US. Yeah. I mean, things like Google Music, Currents, yeah, that's a, a lot of the Google, a lot like, of the Google apps, the native Google apps right. are US only. So yeah. if you want to check those out and you're outside the country, check out this app. It's the way yeah. to do it. And speaking of Android, you've got an Android app review for us in a yeah. minute. Yeah. One Weather is the, the best weather app I've seen yeah. on Android. Stick around and we're going to talk about it. We've got to thank our sponsor. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate wasting all your cash on them, then listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every single day. And typically when you go to Jack Thread, there's a wait list to join, but you guys watch App Judgment, so we've got a special URL so you can skip the line, get right to the front, just go to jackthreads.com slash appjudge right now. Go check it out. And did we mention that it's free? Hit up jackthreads.com slash appjudge and you'll instantly start saving without even having to leave the house. You don't want to leave the house, no especially if the weather is bad. Exactly. And how do you know when the weather's bad? You use one weather. <laughs> Obviously. That's the app we're talking about yeah, here. This is a great app. It's difficult to find a good weather app. Exactly. They're so basic and boring and generic. And yeah. You can have some flair. They should exactly. look good. And that's what One Weather does. Yeah. The biggest thing about this is the design. It looks fantastic. It One is of the beautiful. best looking Android apps I've seen in a yeah, long time. It's definitely really nice. Yeah. The features of this, it has your general overview, all of your basic weather features that you would right. need, but it also has a seven day forecast. It alerts you about any severe weather that's happening in your area. One thing that we were talking about earlier is the seven day precipitation percentage screen. Right, yeah. So this is awesome because obviously, you know, percentages and numbers are just kind of whatever, but they make but it really They cute. make it visual. Yeah. Yes, they have little buckets of rain that show you the percentage there. It's really nice. And if you want to get more detail, they have radar screens, sun and moon phases, which, which is, is super unique. interesting. Yeah. yeah, like most weather apps wouldn't have that. Right, right. They also pull in weather related tweets and weather related photos, which gives you another another insight into the world exactly. of weather. Yeah, why not? I mean, there's there's only so much you can talk about the weather, but they started incorporating all these different elements, and yeah. it's definitely worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, the pros and cons on this. The pro, number one, design. I yeah. think it looks great. Design really well. It's a beautiful app. All of the animations are fantastic. Yeah, you just swipe through each screen so everything's really organized and clean. And yeah, it's super intuitive. Yeah. 
And I love that it has that precipitation percentage, it has moon phases. I mean, these are things that you may not get in your typical weather app. Right. And the way that they present it is absolutely unique. Yeah, I haven't seen any other app like that. There are a few cons, but nothing major. I'd like a little bit more customization. Maybe the, the tabs and the screens when you're flicking through them, changing the order of them. Right. Maybe a little bit more detailed hour by hour forecast on the day. Uh, you know, the widget that comes with it is great. Right. We, we were love talking widgets about the widget. on Android. I know, I miss mine. Yeah. I miss my Android because I miss my widgets. But. Yeah. There is a little add-up at the top, yeah. and they actually just last week they added a premium version. So if you pay $1.99, you get the same app, but no ads. So everyone's happy there that you way. Go. But free is probably worth it. Free is great. So. so be sure you check it out for yourself and email us. Let us know what you think, uh, if there's any other weather apps that compete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. And of course, you can find us all over the social media for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Crosswalk. Yeah, if you're not using Crosswalk, go check it out already. You should sign up and add yourself into the App Judgment Group. Mm, you should probably good. do that. That'd be good. Yeah, thanks. What's the weather like right now? Um, we... I don't know. We probably shouldn't go outside well, and let's see. Let's not go outside. Let's check our phones. Let's check our phones and tweet about what we think the weather would be like. Can we take some outside. pictures and see them?